Hello and welcome everyone. How are you this evening? Well, um, I'm doing um, another Angels Being Loving Miracle videos because I thought it was, um, it came out pretty good in the respect how we really have a lot to look forward to in 2020. So I'm coming back with um, that um, Anna, the uh, grandmother of Jesus came through twice now and so I'm highlighting this reading sort of like just for her energies and I was not even aware that one of my viewers uh, shared with me how she was also aligned with Lady Isis of the Egyptian pantheon I mean it's like she you know, and I believe in all of this you know this the ancient ones we come from you know from the stars we come from into the stars we shall return but so now this is you know she's the mystic of this deck this deck is work your light oracle cards work your light okay and so i've only had this deck like a month i ordered in december new decks for 2020 and this is one of them so this is very ideal. And she opened the reading the last time, just the last time I did it, which was, I think, Monday. So I had to bring it, bring this lovely soul through and that we pray with the mother of Mary, the grandmother of Jesus. And let's see what she wants to come through for our table, okay? Because something... Uh, wonderful is happening now when I was setting up the table one card did kind of come through like I mentioned this deck is new to me so um, one one card kind of not kind of kind of did you know did I don't have to make this up but it was called protection so and you know I've been working on those protection videos but I know it can't be just one video so um, I'm trying to figure out I don't want to make a lot of them. I don't want it to become a series, but I just want to see what's coming. But protection came through, and it says, call back your power, cut the cords, soul retrieval, okay? Soul retrieval. So this just kind of came through when I was organizing the um, table, all right? So, again, and you can see there's, like, the new moon in the background, okay? Up and above here, you can see Luna is either, you know, waxing away, but she's in the new moon. Uh, protection, call back your power, cut the card, soul retriever. Okay, so I'm going to put this card back in the deck. And um, did I put Santana back in the deck? I hope I did. <laughs> I don't know where she went to now. But, okay, so anyway. Oh, no, here she is. God bless. But here she is, okay. So I'm going to also put her back in the deck. Okay, but now she's come back twice. Come out. Twice. And she opened the reading last time. So obviously she has something to say. And this I also have now. I pulled this for my protection videos that I want to do regarding, you know, battling the phantom forces. And I have this that I've had for a long, 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 long time. Protection. The invisible influence of the angels wards off all evil. Okay? So there you go. Okay? So the invisible influence of the angels wards off all evil. And that's why we have to believe in angels and we have to work with them and you have to have a Bible in your house you know things like that for when we when we work on that because the more spiritual uh, alignment you become that's when they want to come after you you know because you're a threat you're a threat to them okay so anyway we you know I believe in my lovely Jesus and Mother Mary and I believe in it all okay I believe in raised catholic but i still believe even if i wasn't and i'm a spiritualist now i don't follow religion i follow traditions so you know, i just believe in the good of all faith and um and i hope that soon we can find balance balance is key okay so here we have let's see what the little table has to say to us today and welcome 2020 and here we are it's um february 2nd 2020 so we have an eight number and an eight does speak about that 
you know, that power and uh, going for it and it's, uh, you know, strength. Major Arcana number eight, Leo strength card. Okay, right in my hand. Well, do I have two? No, one, one. Okay, I'm going to let you see it. Okay, but we're going to put them all down first. And then we'll pick them up. Okay. All right. So, and here we are in February, January. <laughs> I was just putting away Christmas stuff and working in my house a lot. So, yeah. Okay. Now, this card, I already, I don't know if you could see if it did something, but I could feel it. So, I didn't pull it, but we're going to have two. Okay. Because I think um, it just kind of did something. I didn't see it. Okay, let me just take a next set. Okay, and this is this new deck that I have also called um, Angels and Ancestors um, Oracle Cards. Okay, and this is by Kyle Gray also this deck and then this deck so i have three called gray decks out but i like him because he works with ancient wisdom and traditions and he's you know not just only about one idioma how we say in spanish <laughs> you know we're open to all the good of everywhere okay uh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 too many cards, too many cards, this is three cards, yes, no, okay, hold on, we'll just pick from one of these, okay, there we go, yeah, this is a brand new deck, so they are still a little, haven't been worked through, okay, very good, so my friends, I hope that all of you now take some time, and remember, it's so important to take that time down, time a day, and it doesn't have to be so much downtime but like just turn off technology if you can even if you have to you know just not too much um noise in the mind you know but uh whoa did you see that what is this card right here i'm pulling this card i'm pulling this card and this card popped oh no What's happening? Okay, hold on. Let me see what's here. Green Tara, Serenunas, Lord Shiva. <laughs> okay, there's some heavy hitters there, but I'm going to put them to the side right now. Okay, this is the one I'm picking. Okay. Okay. Wow, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, hold on. There might be something here. Let's see. Because Supreme uh, Protection card came through from Green Tara. You are protected. Cords are being cut. Move beyond limitation. Trust. Whoa. Whoa, here we have it. Protection. The invisible influence of the angels wards off all evil. Okay. And green Tara popped out. Supreme protection. You are protected. Cords are being cut. Move beyond limitation. Trust. Okay, my darling, so. Have no fear have no fear okay and we're gonna learn how to protect ourselves with flare with flare from the phantom forces yeah they hate that <laughs> we're gonna protect ourselves with flare and here's green tara saying look how <laughs> she's dressed pretty sharp isn't she <laughs> She's got some flair. Beautiful. Oh. Yeah, I have this, these few videos coming. We, we have to. We have to. Okay, so I'm caught up in how these cards are just kind of coming through now. 
I like it. And we have Serenunas and um, Life Force. Express your driving passion. Sensual and sexual powers are increased. Okay, he sounds like he's got the <laughs> air, uh, the Emperor right here with the Aries Ram saying, I got it all. And then Lord Shiva, Transcendence, rise up, honor your inner force. Steps are being given. Dance with the universe. Lord Shiva is in the Hindu pantheon. The main guy, he's the destroyer. <laughs> you don't mess with Shiva. It's kind of, look, just for a moment here. Now, these cards just came through. I did not select them, but we love when they just kind of want to pop out. But if you can see, they both have Luna as crescents over their heads. These two male active. That's pretty curious, huh? And here I have to say, <laughs> totally, Aries, Rams, Emperor, and Shiva is an emperor. That's why they wanted to come out. We have emperor here. <laughs> We're going to teach. We have wisdom to teach. There you go. And it's not, you know, gender specific. So, so far, we wanted to know what um, Anna had to say. The Pleiades. Oh, boy. Pleiades. Double mission. Channeling and uplifting humanity. Okay, so see, this is about, you know, the star people, and I believe if we come from the white light, then we come from the stars, and I believe in all of that very much. But I was just trying to, um, what ancient people thought they came from the Pleiades. Pleiades. I just, um, okay, but that's good. We, we want the stars... And align with the stars, right? We come from the stars into the stars. We shall return. And peace and harmony. Archangel Raguel has come through. And transformation of Archangel Zadkiel. Now, this angel just came last time, which was Monday, I think, for the first time ever. I don't recall this Archangel Raguel image or this card coming through from this deck, which is the angel prayers via Kyle Gray, okay, and, but yes, Zadkiel has come through often, he has, thank you Zadkiel for supporting me to transform my past challenges, and here we are entering this 2020, this next decade of, we're going to challenge, we're going to just challenge on, okay, okay, that's what we're going to do, we're going to be making changes, and if they are challenging, even better, because that makes us who we are and then peace and harmony archangel raguel thank you raguel for surrounding me life in a harmonious light there you go and this is how we combat the forces with the white light bright light all around us and within us okay. protects us both day and night white light bright light all around me and within me i banish all pain white light bright light all around me and within me Protects me both day and night. White light, bright light, all around me and within me. I banish all profane pain in the name of Jesus Christ, beloved Son, Father God, and Mother Mary, and His life, beloved, the Magdalene Mary. Okay. I, I hope you guys have a protection prayer around you daily. And, and if you want to say it every time you get in your car or wherever you go, just say it. Okay. Let the angels know you're exiting and you're moving and peacekeeper let go of the need to be right that's beautiful she's with her buffalo this is obviously a native american indian female with her buffalo mm, beautiful that's beautiful i you know i love all this native american the divine director intervention and purpose Divine intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided. Happiness is your purpose. Okay, I don't think this card's ever come through. The divine director, intervention and purpose. Divine intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided. Happiness is your purpose. Well, this card 
I don't think it's ever come through because I don't know who the divine director is. Uh, he looks like he's like from the starseed divine, but he knows that you're being guided. Happiness is your purpose. And here we were just talking about the 2020. This is how we want to, you know, if we are aligning with our spiritual purpose on this planet at this time. Um, well, let, let, let's just go to him uh, right away or the first draw because you know i have to read from a little book here because i don't really know who these characters are or these energies rather because this is all about uh the energy but um definitely i like when new cards come through so this is a new card we got to read and green tara they were just supreme to uh, protection and i don't think she's ever come through as well and now this little card i'm making sure that when I do this, you know, demon phantom protection things, we're going to bring, and it's about, you got to have the angels. And as I am aware, it takes two angels to remove one demon. If your house is, you know, being challenged or beyond, if you got a demon in the house, forget about it. It's beyond challenge now, but, but supreme protection. I don't think she's ever come on the table either. Okay. Green Tara. So, but. The Divine Director, I'm just kind of curious on who he is because I'm not familiar um, with this, but he says intervention and purpose, and purpose is a perfect, um, maybe it's under the ST, okay, I was looking under Divine, um, maybe it's time for you to now have that trust, you know, to trust your uh do I have the right book now? <laughs> God help my soul. Wait a minute. I'm sorry, my friends. Well, let's put him to the side. Okay, because let's go to Pleiades. This is our new, brand new deck. Okay, let's go. Let's see. Maybe maybe he comes from the Pleiades, okay? But let's, let's, let's put him right here for the moment. The Pleiades. Double mission. Channeling and uplifting humanity. Okay, so this is brand new to the table. So let us see what they are trying to say with this okay oh see this book is kind of like everything is in a section so now we have to figure out where this section is okay uh, it has different activations the each card has a different um energy uh from like they, they have the inquiry cards and then they have, let's see if they're on the confirmation cards. Okay. But uh, I wish it was simpler. <laughs> because I've not, this is brand new to me, this um, this deck and the Pleiades. I'm, I know that, I'm trying to think of also the, the ancient people that came from them. I, I don't, I'm trying to think, it's, is it the Sumerians? I can't recall. Well, I'm I'm not I'm kind of like I can't find them in here. Okay, well let's just keep moving here for a second. Double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. See, I just wish that they would have a set. Let me see. Oh, hold on, I do have a little. I apologize, my friends. I I really do like this deck that, you know, Anna came out twice. That doesn't really happen. You know what I'm saying, my friends? Things like that. You have to pay attention, especially when we're working with angels. I got a picture of Jesus right here. You know, it's like, okay, hold on. One more time. If not, I'm kind of, I, I have to like, I'm here. I'm sure people are going to, what's wrong with this reading today? It says here, Pleiades, right? P-L-E-I-D. Oh, the last card. Transmission cards. Suit five. Transmission cards. The last the last card. The last card. Okay, so that says something. So you've been on the journey. Been on the journey. <laughs> Just trying to find this card. And it's the last card of this deck. Work your life. So it obviously it has significance. Okay. It's the last card. I was trying to kind of figure out in my head what does double mission mean 
But no, since it's been the last card, you've been on your journey. The Pleiadians are a group of star beings dedicated to raising the vibration of the planet and sharing new consciousness through creations and technology. They have been incarnating on Earth since near the beginning of humanity. You are a soul who has a double mission. And it says in code here, you are a soul who has a double mission to grow at soul level and to raise the vibration of the planet. Okay, so that's our mission, to grow at soul level and to raise the vibration of the planet. If you have been called to write, speak, or channel, this is your sign to keep doing it, <laughs> exclamation mark. Okay, if you have been called to write, speak, or channel, this is your sign to keep doing it, exclamation mark. Your work is divinely guided of all of the souls Pleiadians are the chattiest, and so perhaps you have already started channeling some of this work into the third dimension. Thank you for doing your part in the great plan. Your presence and unique light is needed. Okay, you can see these people are beaming up there. Beam me up, Scotty. I love it. I love it. Work your light transmission. Okay, hold a card to your heart and say, I call upon Pleiadian consciousness of the highest realms and highest good of humanity to work through me. Let me be a channel for only the purest light of the essence of capital S, Source, S-O-U-R-C-E. Let me be a channel for only the purest light of the essence of Source. Let me channel in a way that also serves me. Okay, so that's, that's nice. I'm glad it took me a while. I apologize, but I think it was worth it. And it's the last card of the deck. And this is by Rebecca Campbell. She's a spiritual teacher, best-selling author of Light is the New Black. I don't even think I've ever heard of that. And Rise, Sister, Rise. Okay, we'll see. And I believe, you know, I believe when we come from the stars and to the stars we shall return. No doubt about it. I feel that very, very much. Okay, so I'm still caught up on this guy <laughs> and this beauty and green Tara. Let's see, because she's talking about the supreme protection. And I, like I said, these videos that are coming are, I mean, you guys got to have to be like ready because it's like, it's like we have to battle the dark forces. They're not, you know, if you don't, they will. They'll come get us. And we're not going to let that happen. And as a little girl, it always happened to me, and I've learned how to block. But, um, yes, we're going to learn how to do it. Okay. Green Tara, Supreme Protection. Now, I do not recall this card ever coming through. I've never written in the book either, you know, so it's like perfect timing. You are protected. Cords are being cut. Move beyond limitation. Trust. Legend has it that Avalokitsevs, excuse me, this is a goddess, okay, this is a goddess here. Legend has it uh, that, uh, it's a Buddha goddess, legend has it that Avalokitesvara, the personification of perfect compassion, was looking down on the earth one day and cried tears when he witnessed all the suffering in the world. When the tears hit the earth, a lotus formed from which Tara the goddess of compassion and light was born okay beautiful I'm not familiar with this goddess I'm sorry beautiful okay so when the tears hit the earth from this um, okay okay Tara the goddess of compassion and light was born she has many forms based on different colors and we have chosen green in this oracle because she brings a light of protection and safety with her. Always compassionate and loving, she helps us move into a new state of being and doing. Okay, well, that's that's lovely. And this is beautiful to have this, this protection. So call on this green Tara. And the rest of the message, you are safe. Protection is all around you. The worst is behind you, and you are ready to move beyond the ch challenges that were set out for you. 
Cords are being cut between you and your past so that you can feel energetically clear and aware. Do not worry about recalling fearful experiences. They are not going to be recreated now. Just acknowledge them and leave them be excuse me, just acknowledge them and leave them behind so you can step into a space of spiritual and personal freedom. Green Tara has placed a force field of complete love and acceptance around you. Okay, yeah, I have never read. I don't know anything about her. It's beautiful, though. Perfect timing for 2020 to receive this card. Green Tara has placed a force field of complete love and acceptance around you. She is here to tell you that you no longer need to build up walls around your heart and that it is safe to trust what you feel and who is in your life today whoa this is pretty deep my darlings especially starting out you know with this new year and on our new journey and completions of letting go of past but when you have energies like this surrounding us and telling us to trust that we are protected and you know for me making these videos you know they know what they mean <laughs> that's personal mucho so but beautiful so now you know as the reader here too that i feel confident in making these videos because we're gonna have green terra on the table actually i'm gonna keep her on that table but you know these table readings now that i'm doing since for 2020 i um have these candles here and it's all about the love but now you know sometimes some of us get a, a bunch of anxiety and maybe some of us think oh do i have you know, dark forces around me, then when we can let them go, okay, and and sometimes we are, you know, they jump to us, I believe, I know, ev not everything, but I understand it, I understand all of it, but if we just do, you know, it's just to block and close, close them out, because sometimes they come back, and we don't want them back, okay, so we want to work on us. But here we have Green Tara. And these cards just came out. Again, I didn't pull any of these cards. It just all wanted to appear. And I believe in that when uh, it happens. Okay. But I just wanted to find this one last, I think, the Divine Director. I've never heard of him. Let me try him one more time. I just don't know where he came from. Let me see. Where's Green Tara from? Okay, hold on. Maybe we got the right book here. That's wonderful. And for starting out the new year, it's the way it has to go because some some of the stuff is going crazy. This, you know, I don't I don't, I don't want to talk too much about that. But okay, hold on. It's going to be right. Oh, sorry. No. I don't know where it is though. I don't think I have it. But we'll go to here. The peacekeeper. Let go of the need to be right. I apologize. I can't figure out where he came from. But we just read from Green Tara. But let me see. One more time. The. Is it under the? I looked under the. Uh, oh, there's Mary Magdalene. Teacher awakens. Okay, let me see. One more time. <laughs> the divine director. Intervention and purpose. Divine intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided. Happiness is your purpose. The divine director is the facet of the heart of the creator. According to new thought teaching, his energy is merged directly with God's divine plan so that we can access it and understand on a deeper level what will support our true function, which is to be happy. The Divine Director works directly with angels, and in particular, guardian angels, so that they can fulfill their role of supporting the earth and all of her people. Right now, your angels are reminding you that your divine purpose on earth is to remember to love and do what makes you happy. <laughs> okay, divine in the extended message. Divine intervention is taking place at this time. What is occurring in your life is providing a real learning curve for your soul. You're becoming aware of a sense of purpose in your life. It gives you, it gives you a sense of joy. It is something that brings you pleasure, 
rather than something you have to work for. Know that your career can complement your purpose, but not define it. But the path you are on at this time is right, and the universe is encouraging you to move forwards. Beautiful. Move forwards and be happy. That's that's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, well, let's kind of finally decide what the peacekeeper says, and we'll shut down with my 11-11 cards. And I think so far, we're being protected. That's so awesome, my friends, because, you know, there's bad things out there. It's always been. I, you know how I believe in all that. But that's awesome for me because we can make these videos, and I know that I'm being protected too. Okay, the peacekeeper, right? Yeah. And now we have the peacekeeper, the beautiful medicine woman. I just love all this stuff. I really do. Wait, they got this all? Oh, this is a different thing too. Different sections. <laughs> See? Oh, these are new to me. Oh, this. Oh, seasons. Okay, the moon. Oh, my God. Guardians. Okay. One more time. Shh. I'm kind of like embarrassing myself right here. I don't even know. L-M-N-O-P. <laughs> here we go. It has to be right here. Oh, Oracle, Peacekeeper. Okay. Let go of the need to be right and the message. Choose peace and happiness over the need to be right. Look at that. Happiness. There it goes. Choose peace and happiness over the need to be right. Rather than trying to prove a point, save your energy for what is important. The Peacekeeper is a wise Native American woman who has been influenced by white buffalo woman. Uh, White Buffalo Woman's beautiful energy, too. She holds a peace pipe, which is emblematic of surrendering the need to fight and offering harmony instead. She's a soul who knows what it's like to feel under threat and to stand up for what she believes in and what is right. Her medicine helps you to take the higher road in every situation, even if you are under pressure to make a quick decision. It is a reminder that within your hands, lies the power to make the right choice for all involved and the extended message. You may be feeling on edge due to a stressful situation. There is a warrior within you that wants to rise up, prove your point and get the truth across. But you are being reminded by ancestor wisdom that truth will always be revealed in the end. It is more important at this time to avoid arguments or heated discussions where you know you will be fighting a losing battle. There is much more power in choosing to move forward from a higher perspective. This will allow you to connect deeply to the guidance within and the intuition that will lead you towards the healing of the whole situation, along with any wounds it may have inflicted on you. Choose peace. You know it is calling you. So choose peace. Okay, so choose peace. 2020. Right, the road to peace. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Well, I just got like little, the road to peace. The road to peace. That would be beautiful. If 2020 could. Beautiful. And White Buffalo Woman, uh, you could look her up. She's a matriarch of her clan, obviously, but beautiful energy as well. And I'll just shut down with two 11-11 cards and and, uh, you know, just pray every day, Mike. Oh, right here. Because I have two in my hand. <laughs> Wait, they're just coming out. Two in my hand. Okay, how beautiful. I see a, a butterfly. Harmony, balance. We were just talking about that balance, weren't we? Harmony, balance. Everything is flowing as it should. I am happy. <laughs> isn't, this, isn't that cute? He was talking about being happy, right? Be happy, be happy. You gotta pull it out. I got her. So harmony, and we did speak of balance, because that's gonna be a theme for 2020 too. That balance, especially two zero two zero. You know, it's like that four. We talk about that quadrant, how the pyramids were built, but everything is flowing as it should. I am happy. Let me see the beautiful butterfly. Okay, and the last one. My consciousness moves beyond space and time. Space and time, continuum, and the sun and the waves and the stars. 
my consciousness moves beyond space and time. Everything is flowing as it should. I am happy. And look, here's the everything is flowing as it should. Everything is flowing as it should, right? My consciousness moves beyond space and time. Harmony and balance. Everything is flowing as it should. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, my darlings. Giving and receiving. The yin-yang. I give, I receive, I receive, I give in perfect balance. Balance is key. I give, I receive, I receive, I give in perfect balance. I love you all, my darlings. Have a beautiful uh, February. Talk to you soon. Ciao.